All right, so first I want to click on this and I add a couple more array elements. Three, three, two, four, four, and five. And I'm just going to keep messing this up, so I'm just going to stop it for. Yeah, I don't need this. Only because I'm going to keep messing it up, and you can stop at four. You can see how quickly this, this can become very confusing. All right, time to make it look fancy. So, from here on out, mostly visuals. None of this stuff is going to be all that important. So, I'm going to take a look at what I have here, because I'm actually more curious on, on one thing. No, everything good. Cool. Alrighty. So, what I have on mine is I have a TV, TV monitor. Now, all, mostly all the assets for this game I have in my in the, the description were all just Unreal Engine assets that I just used to make my game work. This is more of like a coding project that I a coding assignment I had to do and just use mostly a lot of Unreal assets. Um, so this TV here you can just find in one in one of the content packs. I think it's like the realistic contact pack content pack, I forget which one. But they have the TVs everywhere. What I'm gonna do is with mine, I'm gonna actually add a TV into mine. To do that, I'm going to go up to the content, just type in the word TV, and drag it into here. And with that in there, I will start adjusting it. Now one thing I am curious on, I'm curious on what, what the forward direction is. So I'm just going to drag an arrow component out. I just want to make sure that I'm facing the right direction for most of my stuff. So you can see the arrow is pointing here. So this here is our forward X axis. So I'll just move all this stuff to face that as well. Do, 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 do. And then I will just duplicate the stuff. Give myself another text. And one more. Oh wait, no. I already have, have it. There we go. Let's make this in a proper order. Just to make sure we don't confuse ourselves. Alright, cool. So, a couple of little visual things you can do to help make this system a lot better is first let's make a hint, hint text. And this hint basically will just say, hey, in order to make this work, you need to use your keyboard. When you're making a game, it's a good idea to just first tell people how to input keys, and then after a while you can take it out once they learn how it works. So I just made this little text here. I'm going to make set the alignment to be center and good and what I want to do is I want it to be that when the game starts I'm gonna set the visibility to be false 
but then when I enter the sphere I want to set this to be true when I leave it again I'm going to set it to be false again so let's just test out that visual make sure that works properly yep I see the text here I also see that this has been facing the wrong way, wrong way the entire time. So I'll make it face closer to me. Let's play it again. Make sure. So now it says use. Oh, it's hard to see with this background. Let's make the sky dark. Let's do. Let's break that connection. And then. There we go, that's a little bit easier to see. Maybe that to be darker. Uh, not as dark as I want it to be, but it's close enough, I guess. Colors are very bright, but it's fine. Whatever. That's it. Not important stuff alright but basically that works you can see it's working good now go here and I'm gonna copy and paste and the best part about the, syst the, the uh, system we made is we don't have to go back into the code anymore we did it once, so now we're good. We can just leave it be, copy and paste this as many times as we want to, and we're good to go. Alright, cool. Now the only real thing we have to change with this is the target text. I'm just going to change mine very quickly here. That's the literally only thing we have to change. Everything else should remain the same. Like so. All right, cool. Let's just make sure that works. One, two, three, four. Cool, that works. Also, since you know this works, you can actually take out the hello. If you want to, you don't have to. This, of course, won't be displayed when you actually produce your full game. Well, execute and package your full game. One, two, three, and then the original one. Alright, compile save. Alright, so that works. Uh the only real other like little fancy thing I want to show you guys is how I got my glowing text. Now, there this the thing I'm gonna show you is not the best way to have it done, but it's the way I have found to be pretty reliable. Um the problem is when you if you were to go from one Unreal version to another, you'll see issues. It's better for me to show you than to talk about it, so I'm just gonna show you. So when I was making mine, I said, you know what would be really cool if I had glowing text. And the problem is on the text render and I can show and I can show you inside of here. There's nothing in here about making your text glow. And so I said, you know what? If there's nothing here, I'm gonna make something. Make make the oh wait, I'm making my text glow. So I had to do a couple of things. One thing I had to do was I first had to go find the text material. And so I clicked on here. I'm like, oh hey, this is the material. Where is this material located? I see it's located in engine, engine material, default text, material opaque. Let me see if I can double click that. 
So I can double click and if I wanted to, I could change the emissive color in here. But never adjust the original text material material. Never adjust it. Why? Because this is the default that Unreal uses for everything. What did what was that noise? I don't know. Anyway, this is the default and I'm going to use it for any, everything. So if you want to change the text material, what you want to do is you want to actually find, go into the engine content. Now in order, in order to go into engine content, you want to click on view option and click show engine content. And again, I don't particularly recommend doing this, but if you want to, then go for it. So what I did was I just typed in default and you can do text as well. And material. Just basically so can try and isolate that as much as I as much as I can. So I have my default text material. Now what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to duplicate this. Duplicate this. So I'm gonna do tutorial emission cool so I can go into this one since this is, a, this is a duplicate I can go in here and in here I can start messing with the emissive color so you can easily just drag on a content one vector connect it to emissive and when you make this like anything like a one or anything over and you save it you'll see it glows and I'll show you you'll be able to see that, that in a second one problem with the uh, text renderer is it takes a lot longer to save I think than most other materials or it crashes We'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. Should be working just any minute now. Or crash. We'll see. In the meantime, this will be a good way to quickly recap what we did. So as I said earlier, the main meat of this tutorial is over. Right now, I'm just make, going to visual aesthetics. Uh, just doing anything I can to make it look nicer. And when it looks nice, then I'm happy. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> this may or may not have crashed, so... As I, as I said, using the text material renderer is good, and you can change the um, you can change it. I just don't recommend it because it can be a little bit unstable at times. Oh hey, it worked. Cool. So it finished. It just took a while. Great. But now you see that this is now glowing. All right. So uh, to continue with this. What I, what you can do is if you want to change the color, you can drag out a constant three vector, and change the color. You can change it to like what blue? I don't know. I'll just do blue. And then I will drag and type in the word multiply. It'll multiply the color by the value, and with that you have. A glowing blue emissive text. All right, cool. So now I have a glowing blue text, and what I can do if I want to make this look fancy is I can change this hint text to be instead of what it is. I have a couple of my own glowing blue. Save that. And now when I play inside the world, you'll see that text is glowing blue. Cool, right?
and then when I change when I press the key input, you see everything works fine. So yeah, basically it. Um, after that, that's all I really want to show you. The sky the limit for you from here. You can clean this up. You can make it your own. But um, yeah. Um, enjoy. I hope this was useful, and I will see you in the next video for another breakdown. Again, you can play this game in the description below. There may be a bug or two, but uh, more or less works. I would love feedback on it if you have it. And um, talk to you later.